Good morning ladies. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start my video today, I want to show you a little visitor. You all met him on my last, oh he's just so feisty this morning, <laughs> his last video. But today he's got a nice clean face. Thank you very much. <gasps> Loki went and got a haircut this morning, so he wanted to come back and say hi to everybody. He says, I look so cute now. I've got my little schnauzer haircut, don't you? Do you have a schnauzer haircut? <laughs> oh my goodness. There's nothing better than hugging a little puppy. They give you such joy. Okay, you can sit back there. <laughs> so now that we've got that out of the way and he's done playing up here for a little bit, I'm going to get started with my video. It's that time of year, we all know, that when summertime comes, we like to take our vacations. I mean, we take them all year round, but it seems like in summertime, we take vacations that are either we're flying on a plane or we take vacations that are close to home and just a little bit away from our house, which is what my husband and I do um, a lot. In the summertime, we usually take a trip that's farther away. This year, we're going to California. And then usually in the fall, we'll take one where we go up north. I live in Michigan, and up north Michigan is beautiful in the fall. So we take a trip up there. So I have different travel things that I used for each one of those. There's a little bit of tweaks that I make um, and a couple of things, depending on whether I'm flying or we're driving. Because if you're driving, you don't have weight restrictions, and you don't have as much size restrictions on your bags and things that you take. So when we travel close at home, I tend to carry a lot more makeup things with me than I do when we go on a trip where we're flying and I have to keep things a little bit more compact. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I use. I would say 99% of these things I got on Amazon. I will link them for you. A couple of them I did get um in a different place. Actually, one of them I got in my FabFitFun. Two of them I got in FabFitFun. So I did link Amazon finds that are, I will link those, that are pretty much exactly the same thing for you that I think helps out a lot when traveling. So let's get started. The first thing with traveling to me is the way that I'm going to take my makeup and my makeup brushes with me. It makes a huge difference to me because this is what I do and this is what I love. I don't go anywhere without my makeup. So when we're traveling close to home and I can take more makeup, I take more makeup. And this is my makeup case. And I showed this in a previous um, Amazon haul last year. And I will tell you, this has been my favorite and I love it and I will continue to love it. The brand Bag Smart is one of my favorite brands for travel items. This makeup case is so nice because, as you can see, the top part opens up. It has little elastics here that you can put like bigger brushes or whatnot in here. It has pockets here with little holders here for your makeup brushes. And I've got like smaller ones in here like eye brushes. It has a clear zippered pouch where if you want to put anything in here that, and you can see mine, it's got a little bit of dust in it. So I probably had something that had powder and stuff in it. In the top, if you open up the next layer, this is the great part. It has another whole section up here that has got plastic cover for your brushes. And I put my bigger face brushes and whatnot in here. And this is a little dual end brush that I keep in here that's I use for traveling all the time. So I keep that in here. And they just fit, get back in here with one hand, get it back in the pocket. There it goes. Okay. Goes right in the pocket here, and then this covers up. So, like if you have brushes that, you know, when you start out, they may be clean on your vacation, but as you use them, they're not going to be clean. So, you don't want to get them on the material part here. It also has a zip pocket at this end here, where you can put some flat things behind here. And then in the bottom, it has all these different sections. And you can see down here, I have extra little pieces here. This part at the bottom, you can mix these any way that you want. If you want two full long ones, you can. You, I've got mine divided up so I can have like longer palettes in the bottom part. It's deep enough where things, your foundations will stand up in it. I do love that because you can change it 
to however you want. So it necessarily isn't always just, this isn't all my makeup. I don't have this totally full of makeup. I will have like moisturizers and maybe sunscreens and different things in there as well. So it's like a big toiletry thing that I can put my things in there. But when I'm going flying, this is one that I found this year and this is by Bag Smart as well. And you can see this one is a lot smaller. And I like this one because when it opens up, it unzips like this at the top, but when you unzip it, it lays flat. And I really like that it's got little pockets on this side here, and it has a zippered pocket on this side here. So if you want to put this like plastic, so if you want to put like makeup sponges or anything like that, that might you know leak or different things but when you open it up then you set it on your vanity it's going to set flat like this and you're going to be able to see everything that's in there but then when it folds back up and you zip it up it flows into so this nice little square and it's soft sided so you know if, it, if you don't have it real full it'll smush down a little bit when you're traveling so it doesn't take up as much room. So I really like that. So those are both different kinds of makeup bags that I think are good for smaller trips. If I was just going for a weekend, I would take the smaller one. If I'm going for like a long week or whatever where I can take more, I will take my bigger one. But if we're flying for a week, I try to pare down. I try to make sure that when I'm packing for vacations, I will pack smart as far as what palettes I take, ones that I can mix and match. Like I'll take like two or three palettes that I know have neutrals, colors, you know, and different things where I can mix and match them and get all kinds of different looks. So I try to pare down that and I'll take like maybe three lipsticks. I, I don't, I try not to take a lot, especially depending on what the vacation is. If I think we're going somewhere where I would be wearing a lot more makeup, that's one thing. Where we're going this year, we're going to be at one of our timeshares in California. We're going to be having fun. We're going to be kayaking and hiking and paddleboarding and laying around the pool and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be wearing a lot of makeup. I'm going to be wearing basically tinted sunscreen and maybe a little bit of foundation and minimal eye makeup. Nothing elaborate unless, you know, when we go out to dinner. So I do want to have some extra things for that. So, but the other thing that goes with that, that I found, and this is not by, um, bag smart. This is a makeup brush case. And I really like this case. It stays nice and flat like this. And you can see it's real nice and thin. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's going to lay flat in your suitcase. I do like that. But when you open it up, it opens up like this and you can see all the brushes that are in here. So if I'm taking my small makeup case, I would take this with me because I would need a place to do it. But the other thing that's nice about this, this is plastic. So any of your makeup brushes that have anything on them, it's not going to hurt it and you can just wipe it off with a damp rag. But the other nice thing is there's extra room in here. So you can put extra brushes and makeup sponges or you know whatever you want in there but the top folds down so this will stand right on the counter like in the bathroom so it's going to stand up and you'll be able to get your makeup brushes so nice and easy you'll be able to see all of them because this does fold down and then when you're done it just folds right back up top and then zips right up nice and flat so I think that's nice it's going to be able to hold eye brushes for me, face brushes. I can even get a sponge in there. I can get a little few little extra things that I want put in there. And then it's nice and flat, but yet it's going to be so handy to be able to be setting on the counter for me where I can just see all my brushes standing up nice and neat. Okay, that takes care of basically all the toiletry parts as far as how I store my makeup and my brushes. But one of the other things, when you travel, I don't want to have to carry, and I found this out because, you know, you have your weight limit. I try to go out and buy, like, travel size hairsprays if I possibly can, and I try to buy um, the smaller shampoo and conditioner and everything. But there are other ways around that as well, and this is one thing that I bought, and this is um, one that I, to one of the items that I got on FabFitFun. When you are a FabFitFun member, they have, you get your boxes quarterly, but then they also have a spot where you can go in and you can buy add-ons and stuff. And this is one of the things that I bought. This is a nine piece. It's a called a travel bottle set and it's TSA friendly. It has one 1.3, 1.3, 
3.5 ounce push lid, one 3.5 ounce pump, two 2.5 ounce push lid, two half ounce jars, and two 0.3 jars. And it also has stickers and a carrying case. So I like this because it's a plastic carrying case. But then all of your little bottles, these come out. So you've got a little bottle. This, this comes off, so it's your little pump bottle. It's got a couple that are the ones that like this. You can put your shampoo and conditioner in here. This would be more than enough for a week instead of carrying a big shampoo and conditioner bottle. It's got a larger size one too. So you can put different lotions in there that you think you might need. It's got smaller ones like this that I could take and put some of my moisturizers in. It's got four of these. My Enjoy Dry Wax that I use for my hair, I can take and put a small amount in here and that would be more than enough for a week. So I love that. And then, as it said, it's got I don't know if it'll zoom into these, if it'll show these or not. Oh, it did for a second. There, little stickers. So the little stickers you can put on there, shampoo, conditioner, hair gel, liquid soap, mouthwash, face cleanser, makeup remover, eye cream, shaving gel, body lotion, hand cream. It's got little stickers for you. So you can label all the bottles and all the containers. And then you can put them all right back in this little, bag. Stack these all back up. You put it all back in here. This is a quart size bag. It's the perfect size bag for the, the TSA. And then once you fill them all up and they're all labeled and everything, they fit right back in this little bag that zips up. It's TSA friendly. And I think it's just, I think it's so handy. It keeps everything nice and neat together in your bag. Plus, with it having this little plastic bag as well, it, everything is double protected. So you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, if one of these happens to leak, you've got it inside this as well too. So it's gonna protect your items in your suitcase. So I thought this was such a great idea. Like I said, I got this off of FabFitFun, which, you know, not everybody can get to. So I did go onto Amazon and I found a couple other ones. They have some that are like nine pieces just like this and they have some that are like 11 pieces. And I will find one of those and I will link it down below um, in the description because I think these are an essential for when you're traveling. It just, it makes, it's going to save you so much weight and you're not going to need, why take a huge bottle of shampoo and conditioner? I mean, hairspray, you're not going to be able to obviously put hairspray in there, so you're going to have to do that. But like your moisturizers, your um, face wash, you're not going to go through a ton of that in a week. So it's better instead of taking all those big things and that taking up most of your weight in your suitcase, pare them down into something like this. The other thing that helps a lot with packing to me, and I think I'm going to try the compression ones. I don't have a compression one, but I did get packing cubes, and I think these are a great idea. I This is going to be the first time I'm using these traveling, but I have seen so many different um I watched it on YouTube. I watched this one woman, and I cannot remember her name right now, that she does travel trips. I don't know if it's travel trips with Trina, but I can't remember. And she's a pilot's wife. So she can tell you how to get everything for a trip packed into a carry-on bag. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the first to admit it. I take too much when we go on vacation, and my husband always laughs. He can pack everything for a week. I can't. And especially... I'm like, well, first of all, if we're going someplace with the, we're just going to be swimming every day, your suit's not going to dry out. So I said, I'm going to need three suits, two or three suits right there and cover-ups. So that's a lot, you know, and I do try to mix and match my clothes the best that I possibly can, where I will have like maybe three or four bottoms and then tops that I mix and match and everything. But one way to keep your things organized in your bags are these nice travel cubes. And this one is a three pack and it's got a a larger size one and then it has your medium size one and then it has a smaller one and I think these are great because you can pack like just even packing your socks or your 
underwear or anything like that in these smaller ones. You could just pack them all nice and stacked, keep them all neat together so they're not everything's not flying all over. For me, I would pack like maybe all my workout clothes. That's an essential to me. I'm a person that um, I work out every day. So even when we're on vacation and I'm, I'm excited because this resort has a really nice workout room. So, but I would want to keep like all my workout clothes together so I don't have to you know, find them through my suitcase because you can put them in there and you think they're all together, but they're, you know, things move around and everything. You know, it, it's just so nice to have them organized. Like I said, this is going to be for our first time using these and I am excited to do that. I've tried to put them in different things before on my own, but these, these are so much nicer than sticking them in Ziploc bags and different bags like that, that I have used to organize. So I think these are really nice. And I am going to try out maybe the compression bags because I've heard so many good things about them where you can fill the things in there and then press the air out. And when we go up um, in the fall traveling, you're ta I'm taking bigger items. Today, when I'm packing, or not today, but when I go to pack for our summer vacation in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be packing shorts and t-shirts and things like that that aren't going to take as much room when we go up in the fall up north. I'm going to be taking jeans and sweaters and sweatshirts and jackets and things like that. So I'm excited. I think by the time fall comes, I'm going to buy some compression things like this to help out because I think that's going to help a lot. Now, one of the other things that I have to keep organized, and um, I do take some medications every day, not... Um, I'm not, I'm not, not that I'm not healthy. I do have to take a thyroid medicine because I am, I do have a slightly low thyroid. I do have to take several different allergy medicines. And I've said this before on my channel, I have the worst allergies and sinuses. I literally take almost seven different things a day that I am prescribed to take for my sinuses. Some are over the counter, some aren't. I've got nose sprays and allergy pills and and different things so i do take that and i take a lot of vitamins and supplements and different herbs and everything to keep myself healthy and i think it's i think it's worked um praise the lord i have not been sick in the last three years I, well i take that back i had a sinus infection which is normal for me because of my allergies and sinuses but i have not been sick with any kind of virus that's come along and i attribute that to taking my vitamins so i take them wherever i go so I found a couple of different organizers that are great for travel to me. I was t I had one that I had gotten from Myers or the grocery store that was like a little individual one and it had your seven days a week. But it's like, okay, so then I had to buy like four separate ones. So I've got four of them floating around. I found this and this, um, this was another one that was on FabFitFun, but I did find they have one almost exactly like it, except for different, different instead of AM and PM, it's got a sun and a moon on Amazon. And I think these are great because it's got your morning and your nighttime supplements in here for each day. Now, I do take things like first thing in the morning, my allergy medicine and my thyroid and stuff is first thing in the morning. And at night, I take some more allergy medicine. And then um, I also do in the morning, take then I take my supplements, but I can't take them the same time as I take my vitamins. So, but this is big enough. These, this little container here is going to fit my allergy pill, my, th you know, my thyroid and everything, but then it's going to fit my other vitamins that I take in the morning because I can't take them. I have to spread them out for my regular vitamins or else my thyroid won't work. I thought that was really cute. The other one that I thought was really cute, this one is so cute because it actually has like feet on it. So it'll set right on your counter wherever you're going and it opens up like this. And I thought this was so cute because you pull it open and here's your Sunday. And then it's got your sun and your moon. So it's got your two sides and it's nice and big. So you can fit all your vitamins and whatnot in there. And that just fits in here. So you can see it's got every day of the week and then all your morning and evening. Granted, this one's not as flat as this one, but it's not as wide. So you, you you trade off either a little bit taller, but it's thinner and stuff. And I think this is so cute because it'll just sit right on the counter, you know, in your bathroom, wherever you're at, you open it up, even if for at home. I think this is so cute for at home to have it setting there because it's aesthetically pleasing. Look, it looks nice and it's just, I think it's just cute and it's nice and colorful. So, and it, all your days are different colors. So it's easy to remember. It's like, okay, oh, remember Sunday's pink or, you know, whatever it helps you keep them 
organized a little bit better. So I think that is something that's really great. One of the other things that I take whenever we go someplace warm, and, I, and this may sound funny, and I use this every day pretty much at home. I use this every day when I'm putting on my makeup, but I love this on vacation, and I will tell you, this has been a lifesaver. We went to um, Florida a couple of years. We went down to, I uh, went down to Charleston last summer. Was it last summer, Charleston? And it was hot. It was hot and humid. We went to Key West. We went to um, St. Augustine, which was very hot and humid and everything. So when we were out during the day, I had my little portable fan. And I love this little fan. This comes off. This is a stand. So I can leave this setting on a counter. Like when I'm doing my uh, makeup in the morning, I leave it to, it's just setting there because when I want to try to dry my I mascara really quick or anything on my face, I can use this. The thing that I love about this little guy, it's got two little buttons here on the front. This one, top one is for your fan speed. And it's got a good fan to it. I mean, it's very cooling, very nice. The one on the bottom, which I do not have water in here right now, is for water. And this little hole right here in the middle will spritz out water. Talk about something cool. If you're sitting out by the pool and you're very hot, it fills right up at the top. It comes with a little cone thing to fill the water in here. This is charged by a little USB right here. Just plug it in and charge it so it's rechargeable. So when you've got your fan on, you can press the little spritz button. And if there was water in here, it would spritz it out. I don't want to spritz my <laughs> monitor. So it would spritz it out. So it was so fun when we were out walking around and it was so hot. It was just, we were standing in line someplace. It was in Charleston. And we were waiting to get on the little trolley thing. And we were in line for like an hour and it was so hot. And I was just like... I wouldn't use it nonstop, but I had it on. I give myself a little spritz, turn it on again, cool myself off for a little bit. This was just a lifesaver when you're someplace like that because I'm past hot flashes. Been there, done that. I'm past that, but just I get hot. So that's the other thing. Um, one of the things that I talked about, and I just talked about this on one of my um, Amazon favorites, so I'm not really going to go into this um, too much. But I do love this. This was the little tripod I talked about a couple of videos ago when I had an Amazon um, haul. And this basically is Amazon, I guess, because everything in here is Amazon. This is the coolest little tripod that um, I, I cannot tell you. This is so fun for vacations because it just opens right up. This part pops up. Rotates. You can hook your phone in here. Take pictures, set it down someplace, take a picture of your group if you want, because this little thing right here is a remote, so it'll work your camera. It um, syncs by Bluetooth to your camera, so you can take pictures. If you don't want that open, you can use it as a selfie stick, you know, which is great, and I, I can't really show you that because I'm taping using my camera, my phone camera. So this is another one. As you can tell, I do have a theme, though, going. I love pink. I just realized that, which I do. Pink is like my favorite absolute color. So pretty much all my stuff is pink. Last but not least. Oh, I guess there's two more things. <clears throat> three more things. When you go on vacation, you take other things with you other than um, your makeup and your essentials and stuff like that. One of the things that I always take with me is my tablet. I used to take my tablet or my laptop. So I would um, bring them with me and put them in my backpack, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But I got a brand new tablet. My husband got me that for this combination of Mother's Day and sort of Christmas because it was sort of expensive because I wanted a good um, laptop that's good for editing videos and stuff. So he got me a brand new laptop, which is in here. This is again by oh, BagSmart which I love this. I believe this is bag smart. Um, and this is a laptop case. I like this because it unzips up at the top and then your, your laptop's going to come out. It's nice. It's padded. 
and then it has a pocket. I just broke my nail. It has a nice zip pocket in the front where I've got my mouse, but when I'm traveling, then I can just zip that shut and my mouse isn't going to get lost. I love this. It's it's cute, but it's also very nice because it is padded and it's going to protect my laptop. Now, I wouldn't normally have to do that because of my bag smart <laughs> backpack that I got. And I have told showed this before. I showed this last year. And I, I tell you, I love this. And I took this traveling, I don't know how many times. And instead of me carrying a purse through the airport, this is what I carry. This is my, I've got my carry-on and then it says you're allowed either a backpack or a purse. This is what I carry. And it's so nice and big in there. I can put like a little wallet, you know, I can put like a little mini purse in there because this will actually hold enough clothes. This will hold like a whole outfit and everything else in here. And I'm going to show you each one of these things. The first part I like about this, it's got really nice padded um, shoulder pads on it. The other thing it has in the back here is this. So it will slip over your suitcase, your handles. This back part back here in the back, this is highly padded and it's got a pocket right here for your laptop or a tablet. So when I went last year, my tablet was in here and I had it in a little case and everything in, in there too to give it extra. And which is what I will do. I'll probably put that big case inside here. But then it's got this whole section that you can add more stuff to it. So I had different books and things in there that I was taking. And I am going to have to possibly do a little bit of work on vacation, which I normally do. Then you've got your big center part here. It has a nice pocket in here. It has an inside pocket in here. When you turn this around in the pop, in the flap of it, it's got two zippered ones. This one's netted. This one's clear. It's got pockets on the outside here on both sides. But the nice thing about this little pocket on this side here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little hole here. There's a pocket on the inside here of the bag. And that pocket right there is for a portable charging pack. And you can put it in there and then the little holes that are in the side, your cord comes through you can put your phone on the outside and your, it's hooked to a charger on the inside. I think that is just so ingenious. Then you have more pockets on the outside. You have this pocket here, which has got a little clip here, which is great for your keys. So you're not gonna lose your keys. It has, it zips open really wide too, so I really like that. It's got another pocket down here which splits into several pockets here for like pens. You could put little pads in here, your passport or something in here. And I like that it's all like nylon, so it's gonna wipe off nice and easy. And then it has two more zip pockets in the front right there that you can put stuff in. I mean, there are so many pockets and so many ways to organize so many things. And as I said, this part in the here is so big. Oh, I already have this packed. This is my little downy wrinkle release, a travel size. I found that and I already put it in my backpack because I'm not gonna forget that on vacation. So I wanted to make sure I had that packed. But this part right here is so big and so deep. You could fit shoes and a whole outfit in that center part. So if something happened and they, heaven forbid, lost your suitcase, I mean, you would have your carry-on, which I don't know what, my carry-on mostly has shoes and some things like that that are heavier because I don't want to have, I try to take the weight off of my big one. So um, you could have a whole outfit in here, which is, the, and nice, and I put like a sweater because you never can tell if you're going to get cold. I get cold and, and sometimes on the airplane or whatever. So even though we're going someplace warm and we're leaving where it's warm because it'll be warm in Michigan and then it's going to be warm in California, it, 
it can be cold in the airport or in the airplane or whatever. So I always have like a sweater or something in there. And that bag, it carries everything. But it is so lightweight. I cannot tell you how lightweight this is to feel. So before you put anything in it, it's very lightweight. So you're basically just going to be feeling the weight of whatever you have in it. So you can make it as light or heavy as you want. Okay. Last two things real quickly, and I talked about these again last year, and it's funny because someone else I just saw did an Amazon travel thing, and they had this exact case, and I love this. This is what you want to carry all of your cords in, and I already have a couple of my cords in here that are for different things, but on each side, and then I've got my, I always carry my little adapter that's in there so I have these two things that are in here and what these cords are these white cords that are in here they are for my external chargers that I have so these will charge up I've got the adapter I can plug in them all and charge them up and then they switch around where you can put the charging part in here and the other part in your phone and they fit right into the pockets of this so I love it. I've got two in here. It came as a set when I bought them on Amazon. I got the white and the black set. So yeah, I have two of those. And then I already have my two chargers for those, the cables for those. But I have room for more cables. So I will put my phone cable in here. I will put my cable for my laptop. If I'm taking my laptop, this time I may take my laptop and, or for my tablet, I may take a laptop and a tablet, depending on if I have to work. If I don't, I'll probably just take my tablet with me, but it is great to have those extra charging things and not have to search through what packet am I, what, what it is. It, it's nice and bright. It's pink. They're all in one spot. So I'm not looking, okay, where's my phone charger? Where's my tablet charger? Where's my earbuds charger? So I, I don't want to have to lose or look for anything if they're all in one spot. And I think that organizes them just great. So that's it. I think those are, to me, must-haves that I have to have for vacation. I want to have a backpack that's going to carry the things that I need and keep them organized. I want to have makeup bags that carry the things that I need, whether it's a small trip or a large trip, and it's going to keep everything organized. And my brushes are going to be nice and clean and organized, and they're not just thrown someplace where they can get damaged. Because if you spend a lot on brushes, which I do, some of them I do, some of them I don't, but I don't want to. And I want to save, I want to save weight. So I'm going to buy things that are going to keep me organized and my bags. And I want to keep my vitamins and my medications and whatnot all organized. So it makes, when you don't have to think about things like that, those are things that once you get packed, you don't have to think about. So you can enjoy your vacation. You don't want to have to think about, oh, I don't have a charger and we're out all day or, oh, I can't find this, or I can't find that. I know it was in my suitcase someplace, you know, or, oh, look at this, got all mussed up because it wasn't packed nice and neat and didn't stay nice and neat, and those cubes are going to help things stay nice and neat. You know, there's just so many things that if you prepare ahead of time for your vacation, I think you're going to have a more enjoyable vacation, and there's ways to do it. So these are some of the fun plus cute ways to do it. Me and my pink stuff, I coordinate very well, so that's nice, but... Um, I just, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you got some nice ideas. There are so many wonderful things like that. And, and as I said, some of the things that I got off of FabFitFun, the one um, pill case and then the cubes, I found alternatives on Amazon. So pretty much everything on here, I will have a link to in Amazon for you. So they're easy to find. And um, I think they're just going to be things that are make your trip and your vacation and travel times fun and easy. So... Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that while you are here, you will consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the notification bell so you're notified anytime that I have a video coming out, which is once a week. And also give it a big thumbs up. Thank you again for joining me. Go out and have yourself a wonderful, blessed day. And I'll see you again in the next video.